I'm your host, Bounder BB. On the Bounder BB Show, a new kind of talk show. Let's get started. Good day and welcome back to the Bounder BB Show. I'm moving on to my next guest. Thank you for having me. My name is Matt Yusefsida and glad to be here. I want my audience to know that Dr. Matthew is with the Institute of Biology of Aging and Metabolism. He's also connected to the Department of Biochemistry molecular biology and biophysics at the University of Minnesota in Minneapolis. It's quite a title, Dr. Matt. We're going to talk about something a little different, zombie cells, and to eliminate and improve our health span. What are zombie cells? Zombie cells are sort of a common name that we call for something called a senescent cell. And senescent cells are cells that in our body that can become stressed over time Um, with either sort of our age or disease that can become dysfunctional and really promote or drive the aging process. Should zombie cells be shed by themselves or do we have to help them shed? So when we're younger, our immune system is able to sort of get rid of them in a way of sort of taking out the trash, but our immune system starts to decline as we age or with other sort of complications or pre-existing conditions. So it'd be better if we could even help our bodies to get rid of these senescent cells. Well, I've never heard of them. Maybe other people have. I've never heard of them. Why don't we hear more about this? Zombie cells or the senescent cells were first discovered 60 years ago, but they were always thought to just correlate with aging, not themselves be capable of causing aging. And we found that out you know, over the past 10 to 15 years, and only really in the last five to seven years have we been able to target them for elimination. So is there a age group that you start to see these zombie cells not working or what? Totally. We see these cells build up in our tissues with age. It starts to affect our ability for tissue to regenerate or function properly. So we're going to say they're harmful to our health? The most definitely they are. Interviews impacting our health wellness, politics, and today's events. More interviews at BounderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash BounderBBShow. Subscribe to our channels. Does COVID intersect anywhere with the zombie cells or it doesn't matter? No, it, it does, actually. We had a study showing that in animal models of COVID, those animals that have, the older animals that have uh, more of these zombie cells they are more primed for inflammation. And what you might have heard was the cytokine storm that they were talking about on the news, and that if you treated these zombie cells with a natural product, it was able to eliminate them and increase survivorship. Okay, because that's my next question. So what do we do to get rid of the zombie cells, or is there food we can eat to, to eliminate them? So there are some compounds that target the zombie cells. They're called senolytics. And they are found in some foods, like there's a compound called facetin that's found in strawberries, but you'd either go broke from eating strawberries or get (laughs) sick of eating strawberries to get the biological benefit that's needed to sort of shed the zombie cells. So supplementation is really the only way. Okay. Is there a supplement to cleanse the body of these zombie cells, and what is it? Uh, Yes, ma'am. I'm a scientific advisor for SRW.co, which is a supplement company. One of their supplements, cell three, has facetin and some other compounds that are there to not only shed the zombie cells, but also to sort of activate our body's recycling programs as well. It's been great having you here. Maybe something was said or heard that will change your life. Remember, you can hear, view, and read the Bounder BB Show on multiple platforms. Visit BounderBBShow.com for broadcast locations. Videos always at YouTube.com slash BounderBBShow. Remember, subscribe. What's the difference between lifespan and health span then? So lifespan is how long you live, but what we think is more important is this concept called health span, which health span is really focused on not the years of our life, but the years of our life in which we live in good quality. And health span is really years of disease-free survival. We hear, I think his name is Dan Buettner, talking about the blue zone. These people understand lifespan and health span in a sense? Their bodies do at least? 
So they've, they've been shown that in these blue zones, it's typically where you have these individuals called centenarians, people that live to 100 years or more, are highly concentrated um, for a multitude of reasons. So they typically have long lifespans, but also usually long health span as well. So we need to read up on that. When do our cells start aging? We really start to see the formation of these senescent cells in mid age, middle age, typically, is where you start to reach a critical mass, and that sort of intersects with when we start to feel some functional decline. Matt, it seems like you have a fascinating job. What brought you to this kind of work? This is not your everyday job title that you have. I really, you know, kind of started out as a kid, wanted to be a baseball player. It turned out I wasn't a very good baseball player. So I decided to become a biologist because I kind of just wanted to do something to help people. Okay, well, you are doing, you are doing, I guess, as I call it, Jesus work here because this is really good work. Where can we find out more information about this and about your company? I'm a scientific advisor for Scientific Research Wellness, and if you want to find out more about them, go to srw.co. Thank you so much, Dr. Matthew, for stopping by the Valder BB Show and educating us. But you're going to have to come back because this was a very deep subject. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for enjoying my interview. The Valder BB Show is made possible in part by the Food IQ Girls. Their goal is to elevate your food IQ. Visit Facebook.com slash the Food IQ Girls for more inspiration.